Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Today we'll be making this corset with a stylish yoke. I already have a video of um, how we drafted the pattern, so today we'll just be sewing it. If this is like something you would want to learn, please keep watching till the end. So this is the pattern we drafted in the previous video. I've gone ahead to cut it on the fabric. Now for each piece, I've cut um, two pieces because I'm using the fabric to also line it. So for the number one, which is um, on fold, I have two pieces and these are the cups, the um, pattern for the cups. I have gone ahead to also iron um, ST on it. These are the cups. I cut it exactly um, how it is. On the pattern I did not use any um, allowance I didn't add any sewing allowance for the cups but for this number one I have two pieces of it and then number four I have um, two pieces each that's four for the left and the right side and then the yoke I've also gone ahead to cut it this is it I have two pieces and I have ironed um, SD on the front piece. As I already said, I'm using the same fabric to line it. So I have two pieces for the left and the right. So this is the yoke. Now I I'm going to have pinned the part I'm going to be sewing. I hope you understand. This is the center. This is the center. I'm going to be sewing the center, the inner part. But I'll be sewing the side because that's where I'm going to be attaching the sleeve. I'll be sewing the shoulder and the sleeve side. I'm doing the same thing to the other piece. So I'll be sewing the shoulder and the um, the armhole. Okay, so this is number one and four. That's the center piece and the side piece. Um, this is my cup. I'm using the bra foam, the breast foam. I have joined it to the fabric. This one doesn't need ironing. So I've joined it to the fabric and I've sewn it at the center. And I also notched it and um, ironed it. So I'm going to place it on this, making, making sure that um, these lines align. So I would pin it down and then sew it on the left side. And on the right side, meaning I'm going to be turning my cup to sew it. So this is what it's going to look like when I'm done. I'll just pin it all the way around and then I'll go ahead to sew. So this is um, the yoke. I have gone ahead to sew that part I already showed you I would be sewing. And then the side, the shoulder and the side where I'll be attaching my sleeve is not sewn. Because I want to attach a sleeve to it. Yeah, so this is it. I hope you understand. I'll just join the cups and then attach the sleeve. And I'll show you what it looks like. So here I have attached the cup to the bodies. And um, pinned the yoke together i've sewn the other side and i've pinned the side i'm not going to be sewing this um armhole and the shoulder just so it will lay flat and please make sure you iron and notch curved areas so i would attach this now to the bodies and then use the lining to turn that i'm going to be putting the yoke inside in between the main fabric and the lining so that by the time I'm done everything will be neat on the inside so now I'll just go ahead to attach the yoke to the bodies from the top and I'll show us what it look, looks like so I'm done sewing it and this is what it looks like I have attached it on the sides on the center and then this is it if you look at the picture you see it has no form of boning so that's why i'm not attaching it to this piece as well so this is it i've sewn it but now i'll just take the yoke in and then place the lining 
just like this I'll place the lining on top with the yoke in between and then I'll sew the top up by the time I flip it over the yoke would be standing in the center I hope you understand what I mean though so I'll just attach this now I've attached it and this is it this is the inside where all the rough work is <laughs> so now this is what it looks like please make sure you top stitch your lining and then use your hemming gum so it will lay flat I use the hemming gum here I'll use the hemming gum here so it would lay flat and give you something neat look at I also top stitched it that's what I'm just showing you here yeah so that's it I'll just go ahead and iron this with a hemming gum so everything would lay flat on the inside and on the outside so it's just perfect and neat so now I have ironed it and this is what it looks like um, I use a hemming gum at that point so it would lay flat and be neat so this is it we're done making this and this is the outcome I hope you love it this is beautiful if you follow the step this is what you're gonna get so yeah thank you so much for watching and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do to my old subscribers thank you so much thank you so much please like this video and uh, subscribe if you haven't i would appreciate that please help your girl grow so the next video i'll be showing you what the back looks like and that's what i'm going to be posting thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something bye